The moment of discovery on Saturday. The indigenous rescue team find blood-stained clothes they recognize as belonging to Bruno Pereira, the indigenous expert who went missing alongside British journalist Dom Phillips. For three days, I accompanied the group as they combed the river and surrounding jungle for signs of the pair. On Friday morning, more than 20 volunteers from four different indigenous groups gathered on the Itaqui River in northwest Brazil to organize their search for the missing men. Aqui tem lago, né, para cá, e tem lago para cá, né? Então se se o pessoal, se os assassinos, né, é, pensou em esconder, né, a voadeira, esconder o corpo, a gente acha que pode ser aqui também, né? Mas tem que olhar isso tudo aí, né? E então a gente a missão agora é essa, encontrar porventura encontrar o corpo. The base has been set up near the area where Dom and Bruno were last seen, two hours in a fast boat from the nearest town of Atalaya do Norte. The Javari Valley is one of the most remote parts of the Brazilian Amazon, an area where 19 indigenous groups live in voluntary isolation. The team are exhausted after six days of searching near impenetrable forest in 30 degree heat. The area is now too dangerous for the indigenous to go alone. For their protection, they are accompanied by four members of the Brazilian military police and leaders of indigenous organizations. This is Bini, leader of the Matisse indigenous group carrying out the search. The Matisse adored Bruno Pereira for all the work he has done to protect them. The group are convinced if any evidence is to be found, it will be hidden in the dense maze of tributaries and lakes either side of the Itaki River, a maze only the indigenous know how to navigate. The whole area has become a black hole where criminals operate with impunity. Bini takes us upriver to the mouth of the Itaqui. He wants to show us what happened to the Peruvian police base that controlled the area. Criminals came and killed him. They killed the Peruvian police. This was not reported in Peru? I don't know. This is from Peru. This is the Peruvian police. Javari Tem narcotráfico, traficantes, israelitas está plantando muita coca. It's amazing. This place is so crucial. Over there you have the Javari region where Dom and Bruno disappeared last Sunday. And here you used to have a Peruvian police base that monitored the river constantly. <laughs> but three months ago they were attacked by criminals. The police was forced to leave. The weapons were stolen and the police post was burned. Back at the base, the teams are returning from their evening search. Still nothing. Flares are set off to scare any jaguars in the area away so we are safe for the night. It's day eight of the search. We continue weaving between the trees and dense vegetation, scanning the murky waters for any small clue. Suddenly, someone spots what looks like a t-shirt. The rescue team just found a tarpaulin here 
and also a t-shirt and a pair of trousers that according to one of the guides belong to Bruno. Everyone is in shock. It's what they all have been searching for, but it's confirmation of all the fears and those of the families. Without the hard work of these indigenous groups, there would have been no hope of finding anything. They are convinced the bodies are here too. They say the area smells of death. Dozens of defenders of indigenous groups have been killed during Bolsonaro's presidency, yet he has taken this tragedy to draw global attention. Dom and Bruno have fallen foul of the same perils they sought to warn against.